The island of Sodor had many visitors, and Sir Topham Hatt had scheduled more trains. Gordon the big engine had to work harder than ever before. He called to the coaches. Whenever Gordon finished one journey, it was time for another to begin. He puffed. Even so, Sir Topham Hatt decided that Gordon needed a rest. He said kindly. James was delighted. He liked to show off his smart red paint and was determined to be as fast as Gordon. He boasted. Replied Toby. Just then Sir Topham had arrived. Toby saw Percy by the water tower. Soon Toby was out on the main line. He clanked as he trundled along. He's a little engine with small wheels. His tanks don't hold much water. He had come a long way and began to feel thirsty. In the distance was a signal, he thought. Toby was enjoying his drink when the signalman came up. He had never seen Toby before. Toby's driver tried to explain, but the new signalman wouldn't listen. <clears throat> Hurrying used a lot of water, and his tanks were soon empty. Poor Toby was out of steam and stranded on the main line, said the fireman. Then he saw Percy and Henrietta. Henrietta hated leaving Toby, said Percy. Henrietta felt much better. James was fuming when he heard the news, said the signalman, said his driver. Snorted James. Grumbling dreadfully, James set off to find Toby. He came up behind Toby and gave him a bump. James had to work very hard. When he reached the workstation, he felt exhausted. Some children were on the platform. Whispered Toby. Said James snootily. Toby just smiled. <laughs>